everybody. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. And today we are fully off the grid. There is uh, some strong wind gusts. Yesterday was really bad. Um, the night before, a uh, great part of lower Michigan lost power. And uh, yesterday, this area lost power. I guess there's a lot of homes without power. They don't know when they'll have it all restored. So. We didn't suffer. Right now, uh, I've got my panels up in storm mode because we're still getting some pretty scary winds at time. So, uh, at times, so I've got that upright. And uh, when the storm has passed and the winds have calmed, then we'll settle that. You you can't see it right now, but over there the the trees are are swaying. We lost a few trees in our own property right out here behind the house uh, yesterday. It was really scary bad wind. Here comes one. It's also random. Anyway, let me uh, zoom in closer here so you can hear me better because it is gusty. So right now these are running, uh, what all's on here? My security systems, video recording systems, security lights. All our lights were running last night. We had no problem with that. All of our yard lights and security systems were on. Internet is running and my office computer is on right now. And the fridge, if I didn't mention the fridge is on right now. We, um, I just switched it over this morning. I left it off in the night, but I switched it over to off-grid power today. Now, I have enough power I could run everything we have I don't have enough power inverters. That is my weak point. So I can only run a certain amount at a time. I have enough panels, but not enough uh, power inverter output. So here I've got something I'll be doing another review on. Um, these are two separate companies, two different things, but a 60 watt folding solar panel, really, really important. And the, um, Vated, uh, vated, vate, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's the uh, solar generator that I reviewed a while back. And I'm recharging this. This actually ran one of my um, security lights all night long. And it, with the AC output, and it charges our phones and cameras and other devices. Really great device to have. So, recharging that, over here, I've got a 60 volt solar cell set up, charging another device, which I can't get to and see, a, uh, another, uh, it's a 300 watt portable power bank that I reviewed long ago. So, right now we've got plenty of backup power here going on. Peeping Kenny boy is coming through. I don't know if you can see him. Yep, there he is. Making his rounds. He had to sh show his face. So this one ran a uh, fan in the bedroom at night because it was scorching hot. And that kept the mosquitoes off me and helped with circulating air last night when it was really, really hot and there's no air conditioner and no nothing then. I can probably, I'm only pulling 280 watts right now. We are at off peak. It's still, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. We are at off peak. So uh, the sun is not directly on the panels, but I believe I could pull a whole lot more. This is right now what it's taking to charge the batteries to recharge them from last night with all the loads I had on them, all of our security systems and stuff, and surveillance systems, and, and the outdoor lights. And now uh, it's re restoring the battery, recharging the batteries, plus running the fridge in the house. So this is a really good experience. As I said in a previous video recently, we are going to go fully off the grid again. 100% fully off the grid once more. Now. I only have a 1,000 watt um, pure sine wave inverter from uh, Giandel. Giandel. Anyway, it's really good. It's been serving me well for years. I'll put the link down below for that. Uh oh, chickens are fighting. 
my only limitation right now, because I have 1800, uh, 1,600 watts of solar, but only 1,000 watts continuous power output on the inverter. So I'm going to have to get another one of these eventually. The, but this has really, really served me well for quite a few years here, and I'm very pleased with it. The Morningstar TriStar, I've had this for, what, 10 years, I think? And it's been through lightning strikes and all kinds of stuff over New York. So what I have is performing awesomely, but I just need more inverter power. I'm going to experiment later, though, and see if I can run. We have another little freezer as well. I'm not sure with the surge of the fridge and freezer combined if this can handle it. It has a 2,000 watt surge, but I'm going to experiment and see if I can run them both at the same time. And if so, the only thing that we can't run is the water pump when there's no power. And again, uh, for that though, I'm going to have to get more another power inverter for, just for that, and I'll need more batteries. But I still think we have enough solar panels because the amount of power we draw continuously at the most I've seen continuously when we were we flipped fully on the grid for a while and checked things out because there's a digital meter there it tells you uh, I keep spinning my fingers but it's a digital now it tells you exactly how much you use our peak continuous output was a third of a kilowatt so 300 watts at any given time and with with this many solar panels, I do believe we could do it. I believe we can go fully off the grid now. Here's my inside solar power bank, AC power units, and the batteries are at 29.2. This is a little reduced from what you see outside because of the long wires coming to the chalet, our cottage. But I can monitor it inside without even going outside to the solar panels, so that's convenient. We do have two USB solar power banks uh, built in. So I have 12 volt cigarette letter outlets and four USB ports all on our solar power bank. So I can charge anything I need to in here. Sorry I have the curtains closed. I don't know how dark it is because the um, I'm keeping the sun out. Keep it cooler in here. But anyway, we pretty much can run anything we need to here now. I plugged the fridge in, or the freezer in, and it cycled for a minute, the voltage dropped down to 28 something, and then it cycled off, so it didn't need to be on that badly. Uh, pretty good freezer. It's been uh, uh, off all night. I am aiming to get to the point where I can run everything 24-7. Oh, but it just cycled on. 28.8. Uh, 28. Oh, I can't make, I focus on that. 28.9. It just cycled on. I'll just run out and see how many watts we're pulling off the solar panels. Still not much. So the, the devices don't take that much power. 325 watts, 330 watts, fluctuating a little bit. I believe the batteries have taken what they needed. The sun is getting more direct on the solar panels. We're only pulling 300 some watts combined with the fridge and freezer, which sounds about right. My uh, one uh, freezer experiment when I convert it to a fridge pulled 150 watts when it ran. So these more efficient ones, it sounds about right. 300 watts, not too bad. I think that we can do it. I've got to constantly adjust for sunlight and angle and maximize my power. I'm only pulling 20 some odd watts though at this time. So I've got to see what's up with that. i got to try to maximize. It, every, it's all about positioning on this. But I am charging. I'm up to 50% on this, so that's good. Let me move to the other one. and see what we got here. That jumps 55%. This thing had actually gone off last night. So I had drained it totally. So 55% now is pretty good. And it's still early. I think it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so we're looking good. We'll have them all topped off by the end of the day. I'm only pulling 
four, 200, 300, 400 watts at any given time. 500. Which is amazing. Considering I've got the fridge and the freezer, they're cycling. The internet, the security system, video recording system. The LED TV my desktop PC granted it uses 20 to 40 watts max it's a passive motherboard combo with a uh, solid state hard drive so it's ultra efficient and a laptop but they're all on right now all everything right now and I'm only pulling 400 watts with uh, full Sun so basically that tells me that that's all it needs Right now, out of uh, 1800 watt solar, it's pulling what it needs to keep the batteries topped off and sustain that load. So, we're looking good. And this is, I'm going to leave it running until the grid comes back. And then I'm probably going to continue running all these loads on my solar battery bank uh, as much as I can and then just start adding batteries. I think batteries and another power inverter is all I need to be totally hooked up now. Anyway, I can't do more than that. That's all I have <laughs> except for the well. And the well I won't put on here because the surge will be too much for that. So, I'll get this video going on my off-grid solar powered office. Please like this video. It's a pretty cool experiment today being forced to switch completely and totally over on everything. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Really cool, totally off-grid experience today. And watch for reviews on those devices I got charging up front. I will be doing separate videos on them soon, so stay tuned. Talk to you all later.